Now, who's ready for some comedy, huh? Oh, come on. I'm not bringing David up without some more of that. I, we gave you some wine. Yes, all right. Well, that's right. Who's ready for some comedy? All right, David, I tried. I think they're ready, though. I, if I'm ready, so I'm not going to care. I'm going to be selfish. Let's welcome David Rodriguez to the stage. Come on up, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you especially to the four people who are actually excited for this. It's going to be great. Uh, another round of applause for Denver Open Media for putting this on. This is great. Uh, we did it. We did it, Colorado. We made it. It is winter now, I think. It's December, you know. It should probably, it technically, it should be winter, but like, you know, just now it's snowed. Got to be careful. Winter driving, everybody, you got to be safe. You got to drive safe. That sounds like a dumb tip, but it's not. That's a smart tip. When I first got here to Colorado <laughs> four years ago, everybody told me, hey, man, to drive in the snow, here's a tip. You might not know this. People from, people, people from states that don't have snow don't really know this, but to drive safer in snow, you actually, it's, it's not as safe to drive slower. You got to drive faster. You got to... That's a real thing that I heard come out of several human faces. I don't know. Like, I'm from, <laughs> I grew up in Southern California. You know, I lived in Arizona for a long time. So I'm a really good driver in the snow because I fear and respect it. <laughs> People who grew up in Colorado think they got this. <laughs> They're just like, no, man, you, just, you, just, you, you don't know that. You know, it's just you can't drive slower. You can't drive slower. You got to drive faster. That's like, oh, you, you know, you're worried about you know, having sex for the first time, it's actually, not a lot of people know this, it's actually more dangerous to wear a condom. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people know that. People from states that don't have sex don't know that. <laughs> it's how we drive here in Colorado in the snow. We drive fast, we drive kind of drunk, no condom. That's how we do it. I don't know. <laughs> I do a lot of driving, uh, doing comedy. I get to go all over the state, which is great. I've seen some cool towns in Colorado. I've been to some very small towns. I've got some small towns in Colorado. Anybody in here from small town? Small town? Nope, everybody's from here, from Denver. Oh, one person, thank you, thank you. How small of a town? One cop. One cop, that is a small town. <laughs> that sounds like where I grew up. That's like, I was in, I was in uh, Oak Creek, Colorado a couple weeks ago. That is a town with a population of 900 people. That is small. It's like by steamboat. It's like out there. Yeah, it's a, that's a small town. Like, here's how, here's how small it is. I got there, and I found out that the person who booked me on the show is the mayor of the town. <laughs> and also the bartender at the venue. <laughs> that's a small town. <laughs> it's so small, they were smoking cigarettes, like, inside the bar. And I was like, I didn't know you could legally do that anywhere in, you know, in the state of Colorado. And this old dude in the front, and he's smoking a cigarette, he just looks up at me, he goes, who are you going to tell? He's <laughs> wearing his Make America Great hat again, you know? <laughs> just, nobody, I don't know. I don't have, I, I don't know why I said, I don't really have any commentary on the election. I don't have jokes about that. You know, we're not really going to talk about it. I will say, <laughs> I will say that like the aftermath the reaction to that has been pretty extreme, the backlash from Donald Trump getting elected. Like, I've heard people say that this election marks the end of humankind, which is a little extreme. But I mean, like, I, I was driving down here on 25, and I saw somebody fully using a laptop with two hands while driving. So it's like, how much longer do we really have as a species, you know? I yelled at him. I did. I yelled. I rolled down the window. I was like, what's your Wi-Fi? <laughs> I'm out of data. I got a tweet about how the snow is affecting my drive. He, he didn't hear me, though. He was driving too fast. Um. <laughs> Everybody's real outdoorsy in this state, I've found, especially in the smaller towns I've been out. Yeah, everybody does a lot of hiking. They do all that. Like, I'm not, I don't do that. I'm not an outdoorsy guy. Uh, like the, mo <laughs> I don't, I don't like hiking. Everybody's got the the <laughs> Facebook profile pictures when you when you go and you hike a 14 or you got that picture. You write the elevation of the mountain and you hold up the little sign and you're just like, yeah. I don't like that. 
I just don't, I don't think you should get credit for all of those feet in elevation. You didn't hike all those feet, you know? You start here in Denver, it's 5280. You're driving another couple thousand feet up to the trailhead. At the end of it, you're walking up like four flights of stairs at most. Like, I did it. You're not an athlete for doing it. That's all I'm saying, you know? It's like, you don't, <laughs> holding up that elevation. Like, you don't see people who run marathons. They're not putting that 26.2 sticker on the back of their car. Like, they're not driving the first 22 miles of that race, <laughs> eating green chili and vaping the whole time, you know? Like, that's <laughs> not an outdoorsy guy. I don't, I, you know, I'm just not. Like, the most in tune with nature I've I've been since I moved here. It's like today I forgot my phone when I went to poop. You know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> just sitting there. I'm just like, is this camping? Am I camping right now? Is this, is this it? Is this what it's like? I'm seeing spirits, you know? Treat every trip to the bathroom like a camping trip. It's great. You bring an 18-pack of beer, acoustic guitar, make a day of it. Tying my sandwiches up on the shower curtain rod because of bears? I don't know. This joke doesn't have an end to it. I don't know anything about, I don't know anything about camping. <laughs> bears. I saw, I saw in, the, in the paper the other day, the headline was, uh, Camper killed in tragic bear attack. And I mean, it, sad, sure. But it's like, do we need the word tragic in there? I don't know. I mean, he's, he's, you're camping. Like, I feel like we could reduce the amount of bear attacks if we stopped calling it camping and started calling it breaking into bears' houses. <laughs> like, you never see the headline, like, scuba diver tragically eaten by shark. It's just scuba diver eaten by shark. You're like, well, yeah, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Like the whole time, the whole time you're reading Goldilocks, you're not just like, I bet she's having a great time in that cabin she just randomly found in the woods. You're like, get out of there. <laughs> Stop eating all this random oatmeal. <laughs> get out of there, little white girl. That's not, that's, that's, that's what Goldilocks is. Like it's not, it's not a cautionary tale to beware of bears. That's just a toddler's introduction to what white privilege is. I think that's what it, <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> Just because, I don't, just because I don't do healthy stuff, I try to, you know, I'm trying to cut out the unhealthy stuff. I'm doing that. I, try cu I cut back on, on drinking, but I still go out to the bar, which is a bad idea. Like, ordering, <laughs> ordering a non-alcoholic beer at a bar is like one of the most awkward things you could do, no matter what. No matter wh where you are, the bartender always looks at you like you ordered sex with no orgasm. You know, they're just like, no alcohol. You're like, you know that's the part people like? Okay, okay, that's, all right. They gotta look, they gotta check all those little fridges behind the bar. And they're just like, this is, this is what you, this is what you want. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what I want. And they're like, all right. You know, I'm like, how much is it? They're like, I have no idea. I don't, five dollars, one dollars? We don't sell, I don't know, just take it. Get out of here, narc, you know? All the other people at the bar, they're like, oh, cool, are you on like a, like a scavenger hunt? Or like, what's the deal? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't get why, <laughs> like, drink, somebody drinking <laughs> non-alcoholic beer is somehow more sad than somebody drinking a lot of regular beer. That's a weird stigma. Like, you could watch a dude play three beer pong tournaments with himself. <laughs> but you see another dude order his third non-alcoholic beer, you're like, buddy, you need me to call somebody? <laughs> are you okay? Trying to, trying to be healthier. I've, me and my girlfriend just had a baby, so I'm trying to be healthier for them. No, hold your applause. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Can we edit in some applause for that? Okay, that's good. It's fine. It's, my, it's our second kid. Who cares? You know? That's, <laughs> that's, that one's for the parents. That one's for the parents. Second one. Yeah. Round, quick, I don't know who's... Quick round of applause uh, if you have kids in here. If you have kids, quick round of applause. Okay. Uh, round of applause if you don't have kids. Okay. So it's about half and half then, that's good. Uh, there's an energy level difference that you gotta take into account. It's like, every time I ask, like, round of, uh, every time I'm like, round of applause if you have kids, somebody's always just like. That's, 
that's how that's the essence of how parents feel usually. They're just like, yeah, well, I don't know. Here's a t all right. Here's a tip. Here's a tip for those of you who don't have kids. Don't talk to your friends that have kids about your day. That's it. <laughs> that's the whole tip. It's rude. You don't realize you're being rude, but you're being very rude. Like, <laughs> I'm 30 years old. Most of my friends my age like don't have kids, but so they're always like, oh, bro, I had the most brutal day today, bro. I had the most brutal day. I'm like, oh, no. All right, let's hear about it. Like, well, first of all, work was super busy, okay? I only got like two breaks all day. <laughs> and then I get home, people are posting Game of Thrones spoilers on Facebook. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a, br that's a brutal day. That's like, I got human poop in and around my face and eyes before breakfast today. <laughs> Game of Thrones ended like eight months ago. Oh, I'm sorry, work was super busy. Oh, did you make more money to spend on whatever you want in the world? Is that what happened to you today? <laughs> then you get to go home to peace and quiet and personal space? I feel so bad for you. You get to watch porn with volume on? Are you kidding? <laughs> what? People without kids, you wake up on the weekend and you're just like, mmm. This is the sunlight coming in. Yeah, you catch yourself in the mirror and you're like, ooh, hey there. <laughs> Most important person in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do today? Nothing? Yeah, <laughs> let's just do nothing. Guys, as a parent, if I wake up and I do nothing long enough, I go to jail. Do you understand? <laughs> it's not cool. Kids put, kids put you in tough spots all the time. They do. My son, he, uh, he dropped his first ever F-bomb of his life in the middle of a crowded Target. It was a great moment for the whole family. <laughs> he, uh, he, he did it, and I was like, I was, you know, I was surprised. Like, I curse, you know, like, his, we're all, you know, adults do that, but, like, I'm careful in front of him. I want to set a good example. So I pulled him in close. I was like, son, where did you hear that word? He got all scared, and he's like, my friend Tristan said it. So it was like this teachable moment, you know, I'm real close. I was like, I don't ever, ever again want to hear you narc out your friend like that. <laughs> Snitches get stitches. We know the rules. We know the playground law. <laughs> Especially don't want to be snitching on a kid named Tristan who's dropping F-bombs in the first grade. That kid's probably badass. That's the kid who's gonna be caught smoking cigarettes in middle school and the teacher's gonna be like, Tristan, are you smoking cigarettes? He's just gonna look up at her and be like, who are you gonna tell? You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you guys so much, I'm David Rodriguez. David Rodriguez, everyone, yes. Making the vibe just right in here. Yeah, I wanna chat with you for a little bit. So, uh, what other gigs do you have going on? Um, me and uh, two of my friends, we run shows up in Fort Collins. Our group is called Fort Comedy. We're on Facebook. We just uh, closed a deal with the Aggie Theater up there, and we're bringing in some big names. Yeah, Josh Blue. Everybody knows him from here. He's doing our January show. Uh, we got Todd Berry for February, and we got Rory Scovel for March. We're very, very excited. Uh, all the information's up on their website, so you can check that out. Come see us up in Fort Collins. Great. I think we just put that up. So is Facebook the best way to keep up with you? Yeah. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Let's round of applause for David.